Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to IATV. So in today's episode, we are out here fishing the Tanamera side of Changi with uh, Norden from Fish on SG. So if you watched the last kayak episode, we are fishing at the southern part of Singapore, just outside of Sentosa, and I was using jigs. So I still have that jig fever, and that is exactly what I'm going to what I am going to be using today, as well as some soft plastics to do some uh, breaker fishing in search of some mangrove jacks, some small groupers, and uh, yeah. But let's see if you can't catch any uh, trevallis today. Uh, queenfish would be nice, GT would be nice, and even a golden trevally would be super nice. Um, but yeah, uh, right now it's about 1 p.m. So I kind of already caught some fish. So let me catch you up to speed on how that went down. We've been here for about the past hour and I have finally uh, took the time to do like a zigzag motion on the kayak to find some drop-offs and some ledges in which I can actually cast the jig at. Now I did catch a fish but sadly I was not recording because I was too busy trying to find the structures and just seeing whether or not I would get a bite on a artificial jig and I did. So I'm going to put the fish on the screen right now and it was a small dusky tail grouper uh, which I kind of mistook for a green eye grouper in the last episode. And again, I caught that fish on the Majorcraft Jig Power 30 grams with my PE1 rod, which is, uh, uh, yeah, paired with the 2022 Shimano Stella. So that was a lot of fun. So right now, I'm actually gonna go ahead and find that structure again and probably have a few more drops and a few more drifts. And hopefully, I can pick up a few more fish. So yeah, let's get after it. And this time, I will wear the camera. <laughs> Uh, if you guys didn't notice already, I'm actually on the uh, Hobie Passport 10.5 with the reverse uh, drive, which means I can go forward and backwards. Uh, this is really useful when I'm fishing breakers. And if you guys haven't seen uh, the previous video where I went breaker fishing with the same type of drive on the kayak, um, I caught a lot of fish and it was very easy fishing. So I will make use of those later on when I'm going to be fishing the breaker. Uh, but for right now, let's go back to that structure and let's try again. But all I'm looking for is from where I go from like say right now where I'm at is about 25 meters and that was the deepest point of the structure I want to go back to the 18 meter zone and have a jig along that slope where I think some uh, predatory fish will be hiding and waiting for small little bait fish to pass by and they're gonna scoop them up which is why I believe they ate the metal jig so yeah let's go ahead and make a move back that way and uh, I'll take you guys along for the whole process so do bear with me because I need to get my bearing correct uh, with my landmarks that I kind of set up for myself. So what I was doing is uh, lining myself up to the right hand side of this drain here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, it does take a moment. And as you can see, I'm in 26 meters of water. So it was a little bit more off to the right here. And then I was looking to my left to align myself with one of the houses over there. So those are my two rough markers of where I know the structure is. And then it's pretty easy just to find it from there by looking at the uh, fish finder. So as you guys can see, it's very, very flat at the moment. I don't really know if you guys can see that, but there should be an upslope any moment now. Or it will go up any moment. So it should be right about here. And we gotta go up a bit more. Gotta swing left a bit. All right, now we should begin to be going up. I'm not wrong. Any moment now. All right, and yes, we are. We are going up. So that's a good thing. That's a good sign for us. It means I am on the slope. So I haven't hit the structure yet, which is odd. But we'll zigzag again. Try and find it. Okay, all right, here it is, guys. It's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Here we go, here we go. So just now we're at 26 meters, now we're at 24, and we're only gonna be going up from here to about 19. So here it is guys, here is the slope that I was looking for. If, oh yes, yeah, so look at that slope guys, I hope you guys can see that. We're at 21 meters right now. All right, and just keep going up to about 18. So let's go ahead and paddle in front so you can drift down with the wind. And my marker was correct, it's the second left house, and about two to three meters to the right of the drain. So I do know that it was below me, so I need to position the kayak so I get a real nice drift in. So let's go up and turn to the left. All right, we're slowly gonna turn it. And what we're gonna do actually, is we're gonna make use of the reverse drive, just like that, to keep us in place. All right, so it's not as windy as it was just now. So I think I'm gonna have a nice slow drift over the uh, structure, which is really good. So right now, we are in 17 meters of water and the slope goes down over here to my left and the wind is pushing me in that direction. It'd be nice to have a gust of wind 
to push me on the slope. Pretty please, where's the wind when I want it, man? Come on. Okay, we're at 19 meters, 18 meters. Okay, so I'm right on the slope, guys. All right, prepare for some action. Let's go, let's go. Just gonna bounce the bottom. We're gonna go to 20, 22 meters right now, back to 18. 18, 20, 22. All right, the structure is here. That's nice, the wind is picked up. All right, get steep right here. 22, 24 meters. All right, all right, 23. All right, no fish on that drift. So repeat the process. Woo! Wow, oh, Miss, 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 baby! Fish on! Fish on, baby! Woo! Yeah, boy! Okay, guys, this fish has size, got size, got size, got size, got size! Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah, boy! <laughs> Structure is king! <laughs> Woo! Big Jamel, big one, big one, big one! <laughs> big one! <laughs> <laughs> big, 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 big! <laughs> On the Major Craft Jig Para! <laughs> oh, yes! Ah, oh, yes, guys! Ah, oh, structure is king! <laughs> Alright, pray for a solid hook set! Oh, look at the runs! I don't know what fish this is! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I don't think so! I think it's bottom fish! Oh, Jabel, look at the net! <laughs> Queen fish! <laughs> yes, boy! <laughs> Woo! Fantastic! <laughs> Woo! I think it's just around the structure. Woo! Fight's fantastic! Hit on the bottom! Kayak, 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 right? Woo! <laughs> Good fight, man. Good fight. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yes! Success! <laughs> Woo! Dude, that fight was insane, bro. <laughs> I thought it was a big bottom fish, man. And that was a queen fish. But that's absolutely fine, guys. I am happy with the pelagic. I think you just continue playing the drop off, man. Yes! Woo! Look at that guys, it's a massive queen fish on the Major Cap Jig Para 30 gram. Woo! <laughs> yes, man. How was the fight? Bro, uh, fantastic. I thought it was a big bottom fish at first because I was bouncing the bottom on a ridiculously steep slope. And uh, yeah, I didn't expect the queen fish, but it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and lift them out of the water real quick. <sighs> Look at that, guys on a jig fantastic man should we get away see how much it weighs i'm guessing about seven and a half eight right. what do you guess i'll guess about seven seven huh all right let's see here we have eight pounds an eight pound queen fish yeah boy let's go let's take some pictures oh yeah, man cool solid hook set with the shot this is too <laughs> all right <laughs> Woo! Month up, queen fish. Goodbye. Oh, You're off. Yeah. Okay, guys, I changed the plans. I thought the fish survived when I released it, but sadly, uh, it's uh, belly up on the surface of the water. Jubel said he doesn't mind taking it home, so what we're gonna do is we are going to try and grab it and then put it in Jubel's icebox. I feel bad but it won't go to waste that is for sure all right so i don't know how well the camera is gonna pick up the breakwater but if you look over here to my left you can see where the waves are crashing that is pretty much the breaker that people are actually able to walk onto i don't know if you're still allowed to walk there if you can access the fence but i have seen a few crs from here so let's go ahead and jig on the outer edge of this and see if we can pick up a grouper 
Um, if you guys are wondering, the depth right now is uh, 8 meters here on the fish finder and there are lots of bumps, so I don't know whether it's sand or corals below me, but we're gonna send the jig down and we're gonna find out the hard way, or the easy way, if I catch a fish. Um, so yeah, let's work my way from the outside to the inside. And the best part about today, guys, I have the reverse drives, which means I can get really close to the breaker and I can always uh, maintain a safe distance while jigging the uh, sweet spot. <laughs> if I find the sweet spot, that is. <laughs> anyway, let's have a jig in uh, seven meters of water. Maybe I can pick up a grouper on the Majorcraft Jig Para 30 gram. I won't lie to you guys, it smells really bad over here. And uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's the soil that, you, that they're using or I don't know. It just smells terrible. All right, anyway. Seven meters of water, just gonna bounce the bottom uh, before I make my way closer to the breaker. Now, I'm expecting some Aramugam because we are fishing shallow water, but we'll deal with them as they come. Yep, fish on. Small fish, small fish. Hey, it's my best friend! It's my best friend! What's up, Mr. Mugam? Can you not disturb me? Okay, I've caught one. One is enough. All right, go ahead, go be free. Thank you. Don't come back. Oh my god. Mm, mm -hmm. I don't think that's a Aramugam, guys. Hello, Uncle Lee. Uncle Lee is coming home with me. <laughs> oh, guys, that's a pretty good size Uncle Lee. Uh, I don't really know the English name of this fish. Uh, I just call it what my friends call it when we fish in Malaysia and I have not caught one in Singapore let me think nope that'll be a first and that was caught on the Majorcraft Jig Para 30 gram and uh, I actually like to eat this fish I can just like fry it up and it is really delicious so let me just show you guys the fish here it is uh, I didn't put up much of a fight but you know it's a fish nonetheless um, and it tastes really great if you fry it up so this gonna go directly in the ice box. Awesome. All right guys, so the next spot that we're gonna fish is basically, uh, I'm just gonna call it the black pillars uh, because it's pretty much black pillars that are in front of the Tanamera uh, terminal where the boats come in and out from Batam, Indonesia. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna get something uh, using the running sinker rig, so the ball rig with a live prawn and I'm gonna try jigging as well. And I think this is the second to last spot. We still have another breaker to play. And uh, yeah, so far the trip has been great. Um, I've caught four fish in total so far. Hopefully I can make it six. Uh, at least one snapper, like a mangrove jack or a finger mark snapper. Or you know, a green eye grouper, that'd be good too. Uh, but yeah, so far we have dodged all of the dark clouds. There's dark clouds over there. And uh, we dodged quite a few while we were fishing at the Tanamera side. Uh, but yeah, update you guys once we reach the uh, black pillars. See you guys there. Alright, so just a small little tip for you guys. If you are making like at least like another like 10 to 15 minute pedal, you can actually bring up this piece, which is part of the fish finder. If I can do it with one hand. And you'll have less resistance, meaning you'll get to the, to the spot faster. Yeah, hopefully that helps some of you, huh? Because it's helping me. Oh, fish on. Oh, fuck. I was not ready. It took on the drop. Aramugam, 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 Aramugam. 
Mugam, mugam, mugam. Hey, no. Oh, lame. I don't want to deal with this. I think so. If I'm not wrong, it is. Well, okay, guys. It was caught on the Major Craft Jig Parra 30 gram. <laughs> God dang it. I didn't want to catch you. Go away. Okay, what? Well, I know a fish is a fish, but please do not come to disturb me again. Thank you very much. Now I'm gonna happily send you on your way. Okay, bye bye. Do not come to disturb me again. Alright, guys, sadly we have to cut the session short because there is a storm approaching, as you guys can see behind me. Now we did get lucky in the morning and in the afternoon. It was pretty dry, um, but you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna wrap up the video over at the launch point. Today was a success, guys. I would definitely recommend coming uh, to this side. There's lots of fish. You can use purely artificial the whole day, uh, be it crankbaits, jigs, soft plastics. Um, I didn't even touch the live prawns that much, um, sadly, but you know, it is what it is. I still caught fish with jigs, and I am very, very happy. Okay, anyway, see you guys at launch point. All the information to uh, fish on and on will be inside the description box down below. So do go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested in booking a trip with him. And uh, yeah, like Randy said, see you guys in the next episode.